For general purpose everyday carry, it's really hard to beat these Knipix Cobra 125s. When I know I'll need to remove some bolts though, I reach for the 150 plier wrench. They're not that much longer, so you can still carry them in your pocket. But they do offer a lot more leverage, and they have the smooth jaws so they won't damage bolts. Both of these pliers have an enormous amount of grip, and you can literally get your whole body weight behind them. But in some cases that can be really hard, simply because of the length, especially compared to a normal ratchet. Uh, the length just means you just cannot get all the leverage to take full advantage of the clamping force. And this is what I came up with. This end is made out of eighth inch flat bar. It's four individual pieces welded together. Uh, the center piece is a hardened steel shaft. I had in the scrap end, it runs all the way through and then it runs to about there. This is just a cheap three inch long, three eighths extension. I kept the overall length to about six and a quarter inches, same as the length of the 150s. So that way the two items could be stored together and it just slumps right over the handle. This is the new overall length compared to the 250s. This type of setup works really well on this style plier because you can pull on only one side of the plier. You don't have to grip it and clamp it while you're pulling. In comparison to normal channel locks where you have to be gripping while you're pulling. Otherwise, they're not going to stay on the, on the nut. Just to see how capable these pliers are with this breaker bar, I'm gonna to torque a bolt to 90 foot-pounds. This is a half inch grade eight bolt. I'm not able to break it loose without the cheater bar. Let's try tightening it up with the big 250s and then breaking it loose with the 150s. The performance is quite similar uh, with this setup compared to the 250s. The highest torque I've been able to break loose is 100 foot-pounds. Pretty impressive for a tool that fits in your pocket. Now, I could have just used a straight shaft, but I decided to use this 3 8 extension on the end. It's welded on just to increase the capabilities of this tool. Now, an example would be this inset bolt. There's just no way you're going to be able to get to it with these pliers. While this setup is not as fast, it does give you similar capabilities to a small 3 8 ratchet, and it'll work with all the same attachments. One thing I was initially concerned about with making something like this is whether or not I would exceed the capabilities and break this pair of pliers. What I found out is I think it helps you reach the capabilities because at a certain point, you start to round over the nuts. And the same thing happens with the 250s. So you're really not able to ever apply endless amounts of torque to the point where you break the tool. If there's ever a point where I feel like I'm pushing these little pocket tools too hard, I stop. And it's some, sometimes I need to go get a tool that can do the job easily. But I'm really impressed with what this cheater bar is allowing me to do, and it's definitely a worthwhile build. If you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps out the channel. Thanks.